Thank you, Jesus. Render to the Lord's of Zion, We worship you, our God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we bless your name. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Our Lord and our King, <laughs> the one who was, who is, and is to come. Father of glory, Father of light, we honor your name this day. We come, O oh God, to bow before you. For you alone deserve all the glory. You deserve all honor. You deserve all adoration. We thank you, Lord, for January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, and now September. Indeed, you have kept us. Indeed, you have covered us. And we say thank you. Thank you for our family members. Thank you for the gift of fellowship. Thank you for every sibling in this house today. Thank you for the gift of salvation. Thank you for Christ that has brought us together. And so, Abba, we worship you. As we start, we start in your name. Lord, our prayer this day is that you breathe upon us. As we inhale you, Holy Spirit. And this September is one indeed to remember as you envelope us with your presence and your power. We give you praise, Lord. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Good morning, family. God bless you. Thank you for joining us this morning. It's September. I'm just going to quickly give the word that the Lord has given unto us this September. As we run with it, the Lord bless you all. As I waited on the Lord for the word for this season. I felt the Lord calling me into meditation. And the Holy Spirit began to lay in my heart the word Zion. Zion. And the Lord says to start to claim every blessing that he has given unto Zion. Every, every blessing the Lord has given unto Zion. So this month is not a month that you have to be lazy, especially in the place of prayer. If you remember what the Lord thought of during Revive, he thought us about declaring wherever you go that the kingdom of the Lord should come. And also in this declaration, the Lord taught us that the same thing that was declared in the beginning, which is let there be light, that is the same as when you declare your kingdom come. But the Lord is saying that you are Zion. If you know about this word, Zion, it means holy place, the kingdom of heaven. Now that kingdom of heaven that has come, you become that portal on earth. In other words, God is saying, walk in dominion. Walk in dominion. You yourself becoming a portal for the kingdom of heaven. You yourself becoming Zion, the holy place. The holy place. You become the dwelling of the Lord. But it's not just the knowledge of it. But it's you making that your identity. You making that your identity. The dwelling place of God. And when you start to walk in it, 
is that to walk in dominion. This is the word of the Lord. So it becomes your prerogative to find that part and sit down, go through the scriptures, get all the blessings that the Lord has spoken over Zion and begin to declare it over your life. Another thing that the Lord did this while, while I was waiting for a word from him is he, 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 there's these this two scriptures that the Lord placed in my heart. And even I began to pray with it over my life, over my family. I'm going to share those two scriptures with you. These scriptures just declare through the Lord calling us into a place where we just prophesy. Don't just talk, prophesy. That's what the Lord is calling us into. A place where you prophesy. You don't want to miss out on this one. We have gone through the making of the mighty, the making of the prophets. And this is the time where the prophets begin to prophesy. The manifestation that the Lord has promised us is the time you will begin to see it come to pass. As you prophesy, walk in dominion, prophesy. You are Zion, the city of God. You are Zion, the city of God. You are Zion, the city of God. It's interesting that the Lord will call us into this in this season where we get to prophesy to one another even unrestricted. This becomes your automatic nature. This must become your automatic nature when you move from just speaking when you understand that whatever comes out of your mouth is a decree now, the law says prophesy. The law says prophesy. The first scripture is Psalm 126 verse one. This is the promise of the Lord for us. Psalm 126, verse 1. When the Lord brought back the captives to Zion, we were like men who dreamed. Our mouths were filled with laughter, our tongues with songs of joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. We are filled with joy. English Standard Version says, when the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. It's a song of our sense. This is the way to go. When the Lord turned again, the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. This becomes your reality. If you can prophesy, if you can walk in that dominion, that everything has been overturned for your good. And there is an end to that captivity, that oppression in your life. It's your reality. Dominion is your reality. But you must believe it. Only fools can work with God. Maybe even your life situation is not <laughs> giving that vibe, so to say. But you must believe it. That you are Zion, God's holy place, a place where the Lord dwells. 
And when you begin to act like one who is a portal of the kingdom of God, things will begin to change for you. You begin to speak that into existence. In this season, your destiny is in your hands, of, literally. Or shall I say your destiny is in your mouth? Declare, says the Lord. Decree. Get into your office as a king and a priest. And all things will be overturned in your favor in the mighty name of Jesus. So the Lord said to prophesy over the house, and I'm just going to do that. According to the scriptures, as the Lord grants me utterance, I speak over you, I speak over your life, I speak over your situation in the mighty name of Jesus. Standing on the authority of Christ, I decree and I declare after the order of Psalm 14, verse 7, oh, that the salvation of Israel would come out of Zion when the Lord brings back the captivity of his people. Let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. I decree that salvation flows through you as Zion. Solutions come from you, the Zion, in the name of Jesus. That wherever you go, your entrance will bring deliverance, restoration to all who encounter you in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over you as Zion, you become a vessel of God's salvation. You are leading others to the freedom of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over you. In the name of Jesus, that the Lord is restoring all that you have lost. You will rejoice, you will be glad. I proclaim that you become a source of joy, a source of gladness. You begin to reflect the salvation and restoration of the Lord to those around you in the mighty name of Jesus. In your life, the Lord will bring you out of captivity. You become that witness for the joy of the Lord and evidence of the joy of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree after the other of Psalm 2 verses 2 to 6. It says, kings of the earth set themselves and rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bonds in pieces and cast away the cords from us. He who sits in the heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall hold them in derision. He shall speak to them in, the, in his wrath and distress them in his deep displeasure. Yet I have set my king on the holy hill of Zion. I decree over you, as Zion, no plan of the enemy will succeed against you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord is established in your life as his king. I decree that every counsel taken against you will be brought to nothing because you are under the protection of the almighty God. The Lord laughs at the schemes of the enemies in your life. The Lord makes you stand secure or shaken by their threats. In the mighty name of Jesus, I prophesy over you that the anointing of the Lord comes upon you this day. That every attempt to break you is futile. The Lord establishes you in his authority in the mighty name of Jesus. You become a place of divine establishment where God's purposes will begin to prevail despite any opposition in the mighty name of jesus i decree and declare in the mighty name of jesus that your feet is made stable as zion you stand firm unmovable in the mighty name of jesus father we thank you i decree and declare over your life ease in the name of jesus the fountain of life begins to flow to you and through you in the name of Jesus. 
You become that place where the blessings of God flow continuously in the name of Jesus. You become a carrier of divine restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name. We give you all the praise and all the glory. Decree and declare this day in the mighty name of Jesus. And you become a city built by the Lord. Nothing will pull you down in the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy over you. After the other of 1 Chronicles 15, 1, you become that city set on a hill, shining brightly with the glory of God for all to see in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that as Zion, you are a place of refuge for those in need. The Lord makes you a place of refuge where his love and his presence are made evident in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that as Zion, your life becomes a testimony of God's faithfulness and goodness in the mighty name of Jesus. You become a place of healing where the broken are made whole by the power of God's presence in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Father, we worship you. We give you praise. We give you glory. After the order of Psalm 128, verses 5 to 6, I decree and declare you are blessed in the name of Jesus. You will see the prosperity and peace of your surrounding, of your nation, in the name of Jesus. As Zion, I prophesy unto you that you will enjoy the blessings of long life in the name of Jesus. Your life will witness success, growth in the name of Jesus. The peace of the Lord reigns in you. The peace of the Lord reigns around you. That peace is extended to people around you. You become a conduit of God's peace, a conduit of God's presence, a conduit of God's power, a conduit of God's blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of the Lord says in Psalm 132, verses 13 to 16, for the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his dwelling place. This is my resting place forever. Here I will dwell, for I have desired it. I will abundantly bless her provision. I will satisfy her poor with bread. I will also clothe her priests with salvation and her saints shall shout aloud for joy. And so I decree over you as the Lord's chosen, as the Lord's delight in the name of Jesus. His presence will rest with you. His peace will rest with you. There is stability in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy the abundant blessings of the Most High God over you. You will lack no good thing in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord satisfies all your needs. The Lord provides for you in every area of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are clothed with the salvation of the Most High. The joy of the Lord overflows your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus. After the other of Isaiah 51, 3, I declare, it says, for the Lord will comfort Zion. It will comfort all our waste places. It will make her wilderness like Eden and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in it. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Therefore, I prophesy in the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord comforts you on all sides. The Lord brings restoration to all broken places in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that your wilderness and your desert places are transformed into flourishing gardens in the name of Jesus. Just like Eden, full of life and abundance, <laughs> came into existence. In the name of Jesus, I declare the same over you. You become the guardian of the Most High. In the name of Jesus, as Zion, I prophesy over you that joy and gladness are your constant companions. Your life is filled with thanksgiving. Your life is filled with testimonies. In the name of Jesus, 
your mouth will sing songs of praise. I decree and I declare that the Lord comforts those around you. The Lord turns every barren place in your life into a place of beauty. I declare that as Zion, you become an evidence of God's restorative power. Joy and gladness will abound in you forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. After the order of Isaiah 60, verse 14, I decree and declare, as it says, also the sons of those who afflicted you shall come bowing to you. <laughs> and all those who despise you shall fall prostrate at the soles of your feet. And they shall call you the city of the Lord. Zion, Zion, Zion of the Holy One of Israel. And so I decree over you that those who have opposed or afflicted you will come to acknowledge the Lord's favor over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that the Lord exalts you. Those who once despise you will recognize the glory of God in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I prophesy over you as Zion, the city of the Lord. <laughs> where the presence of the Holy One of Israel dwells, I decree that your life will begin to reflect the honor and glory of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> I declare that your life will reflect the honor and glory of God, that the others will come to see, they will come to respect the wonders working power of God in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, you become a living testimony of his powers. Where even your enemies will come to acknowledge the presence of God in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, we thank you. Isaiah 62 verses 1 to 3. He says, for Zion's sake, I will not hold my peace. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until our righteousness goes forth as brightness. Until our righteousness goes forth as brightness and our salvation as a lamp that burns. The Gentiles will see your righteousness and the kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord will name. You shall also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord and a royal daddy in the hand of your God. Therefore I prophesy in the mighty name of Jesus that as Zion, <laughs> the Lord is committed to your righteousness and it will not rest until his purposes for your lives are fulfilled. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that the Lord's righteousness shines over you as the brightness of the dawn. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that nations and rulers will recognize the glory of God upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will be drawn to that light, the light of the righteousness of God in you, the light of the righteousness of God in you. And so I decree in the name of Jesus that by that new name you will walk. In the name of Jesus, a name of honor, a name of significance, a name of influence that will reflect the purpose of God for your life. In the name of Jesus, the Lord crowns you with his glory. I declare that the hand of the Lord is upon you for exploits. In the name of Jesus, you become a royal diadem in his hand that through you, the Lord will do great wonders. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree. In the name of Jesus. After the order of Psalm 133, verse 3, it is like the dew of Hermon descending upon the mountains of Zion. For the Lord has commanded the blessings, life forevermore. I spill life unto you. In the name of Jesus, the blessings of the Most High God rest upon you, bringing you life, abundance in every area. In the name of Jesus, every crookedness in your life is straightened. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that the Lord commands his blessings upon you. In the name of Jesus, 
you begin to experience life in its fullness and in its richness. In the mighty name of Jesus, as Zion, I prophesy the dew of the Lord's presence refreshes you, renews you, rebuilds you in the mighty name of Jesus. Bringing vitality to your life, growth in every area, in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that your life becomes a reflection of the life-giving blessings of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Everything that you do prospers in the name of Jesus. I decree that as Zion, the blessings of eternal life begins to flow through you, impacting those around you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Blessed be your name, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you, Abba Father. I worship you, Jesus. The Lord sanctifies you this day. Anything that would take you away from his presence, anything that will hinder you from walking in dominion, I uproot that entrance out of your way in the name of Jesus. This becomes your identity, a place where God dwells. It becomes your reality as you begin to exude the glory of God, as you become that evidence of his presence in the mighty name of Jesus. Joel 3, 17 to 18, it says, so you shall know that I am the Lord, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then Jerusalem shall be holy, and no aliens shall ever pass through her again. No aliens shall ever pass through her again. Nothing would defile you in the name of Jesus. That scripture says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the mountain shall drip with new wine and the hills shall flow with milk and the brooks of Judah shall be flooded with water. The brooks of Judah, the brooks of praise flooded with water. <laughs> the Lord is filling your life with praise. You become a fountain flowing from the house of the Lord and the water, the valley of Ashes, the refreshing of the Mosta will come to you and through you. I declare as Zion that the Lord dwells within you. His presence sanctifies you this day. His presence sanctifies every area of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that you are the holy. One of God, chosen, set apart, and you will walk in that dominion. No evil will penetrate or disrupt the word of work of God in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I prophesy over you, Isaiah, that your life would overflow with new wine of the Holy Spirit. You will experience the abundance of God's mercy, the abundance of God's faith, the abundance of God's power. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that the provision of God flows continuously in your life. You are nourished. You are sustained in every way in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord makes you a fountain of living water as the Christ lives in you. You bring refreshing wherever you go. You bring Christ wherever you go. The presence of the Holy Spirit will be felt wherever you go. In the mighty name of Jesus. Dear darling, Abba Father, we give you praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all adoration. We praise you, Lord. <laughs> Psalm 87 verses 2 to 3 says, The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of God. Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of God. Glorious 